my channel. So today's video is my April favorites. April was so crazy for me. Okay, Goodbye. at the door, we're, we're real going. We're Seriously, going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Bitch, I fucking hate you. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Me and I went to IMS New York and then I got back to Orlando and then I got invited uh, by Tar Cosmetics to go to Coachella with all my friends and then to Palm Springs. I came back to Orlando and then I'm here back in LA at Smashbox Studios. And today I wanted to record for you guys my April favorites. So I have a little bit of everything, fashion, <laughs> makeup, um, and a couple other things that I have been loving. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is my favorite makeup artist and my favorite makeup artist is Patrick Ta. He's a great friend of mine. He's done a lot of amazing celebrities, and his, his work is so beautiful. He does very clean, glowy, and glamorous makeup. You guys should check out his work, Patrick Ta, and he's a dear friend of mine, and we have the same freaking name, amen? Like, so cute. Um, and you guys should check out his work um, and his Instagram, Patrick Ta. Next, I want to talk about this um, fabric right here, you guys. Th my mom made this for me. She, no, no, let me stop. She actually bought it from Ross, and it's like way big. And I wore this at Coachella, and my friend Kristen, who's sitting right next to me, was like, you should talk about it. Your mom made it. So basically, it's like a huge dress. If you guys are interested, it's by Jessica Howard. And it's really large. So in women's sizes, I don't know if I want to say my size, but I'm going to be honest with you girls. I'm a size 16, and this is a size 20. So it's super large. So I wore it to Coachella, and it's actually a dress. And ugh, this looks janky. It's a dress. My mom just cut it down the middle, and she was like, hey, Patrick, do you want this dress? She doesn't talk like that, but, you know, Filipinos, that's how they roll. But it's really, really cute, and it's flowing, and I felt like such a drag queen at Coachella, like, and I wore this with my, did I wear it? No, I didn't wear it with my blue wig, but I wore it with my turban, and it's so fun and simple. So that's like a little DIY. Um, Thanks, Mom. Oh, funny story, like, um, at Coachella, we had to do a lot of walking, and it was so crazy, and we took, like, one of the bikes back to our car, like, you know, those, like, sexy bicycle men that are like, yo, you want a ride? So I was like, yeah, sure, baby. So we got a ride, and... I didn't tell anybody about this. My mom doesn't even know. But I was trying to be cute. And, like, it was kind of like a chariot, you know? Like, I was, like, flowing the chariot and on the way back to my car. And the, the, the dress got caught in the wheel. <laughs> so it was so embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm, like, trying to be cute. I'm like, yes, bitch. And the thing, I got, I got pulled down and I was with Tenny. In, in the chariot and it started wrapping in the wheel and I was so scared I was like my mom made this for me and so like ripped it out the thing so there's like a little tear under here but no one can tell well now you know so this is by my mom and thank you mom okay let's get into makeup so the first makeup thing that I have been loving um, are primers I don't use primers all the time it depends on the foundation primers aren't for everybody but the one that I want, that I want to talk about to you guys is the LA Girl Pro Prep primer it's a high definition smoothing face primer it's very similar to the smashbox and this has been my favorite they're very similar they're both they're both like a silicone base they smooth out the skin so um, if you have porous um, skin this would be amazing for you guys this is LA Girl. It's very inexpensive. Oh, it um, helps and smooths fine lines, paraben, and fragrance-free, and enriched with vitamin E. So it's amazing for your skin, and it's very affordable. Um, the Smashbox one, I used it today, and I love this one just as much. So you have the LA Girl. Oh, here. The LA Girl and also the Smashbox. Isn't this cool? We got, like, two camera angles going on. Like, this is so fancy. Like, so profesh. It's, like, so cute. Um, okay, so after priming, moving on to the face, a favorite of mine, I haven't really talked about these, I don't think so, from what I can recall. Um, I use this in my foundation routine video, but I love the MAC Full Coverage Foundation. And I love this one as like a concealer, so for me, I'll use like a thin foundation and then I'll use this as like a concealer on my face. If I'm going full out dragoon, drag queen, um, glamorous Kim Kardashian drag, I'll use this all over my face. And this is the full coverage by MAC. And for color reference, I'm in the color NC45. I love this. I can beat my face with this and it'll look flawless. And to highlight, I use the same exact thing. I always get questions on what I use under my brows. And this is it. I use the MAC full coverage um, in the color 
NC20. As you guys can see, I love it because it hit pan. And it's amazing. And these dry matte. So if you are more on the dry side and you want a full coverage, um, make sure you prime your face very well, moisturize very well, and also um, don't use as much powder. If you are drier, you don't have to set this, but you guys know me, I'm very oily and sweaty, so I will go in with my all-purpose flour um, air spun or a loose powder with my powder puff. Um, so moving on to powders, um, I love the Laura Mercier. Speeding. I don't know what the hell that means. This is the Airspun loose powder that I always use, and this is the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. This is a lot more fine, a lot more thin, and this is a lot more heavy. So you can find this anywhere, um, like at your Walmart, CVS, Ulta, Dwayne Reed. Um, it's right by the nail section and accessories. And I get a lot of questions about this, and it is very heavy, but I like that heavy coverage. And this is like a drag queen powder. That's how I found out about it. And it smooths my whole face and makes me look flawless from far away. Um, this one is a lot more expensive and I use this a lot in my professional freelancing kit. Um, I'll be using it today on my friend Kristen on her face with a powder puff. And I like this because it's a lot thinner and it's the color is perfect. I prefer the translucent over the invisible. I have heard the invisible flashes back. Um, but this has like a little bit of a color and I love it. It's by Laura Mercier. For powder for highlighting my face, um, I want to talk about this brush has been my favorite. I can't highlight without it. And it's the Pretty Girls S01 Tapered Kabuki Brush. A lot of lines have this kind of brush. I think Sigma has one, Morphe. But I've been loving the Pretty Girls one. And I like to use it with my highlighting powder. And the highlighting powder that I love is the Pro Finish Powder. This is a foundation powder. And this powder is similar to Studio Fix Powder by MAC. It's a powder foundation. So what I'll do is I'll just take this and then I'll highlight under my eyes for a flawless finish. You know what I'm saying? Like it's really, really, really cute. And I like it because it's super dense and it packs on a lot of product. Um, and this is the Pro Finish Powder. And for color reference, I'm in the color 170. And the other color that I love for highlighting um, really, really white under the eyes with this brush is the color 120. I want to talk about sprays. Everyone has been talking about the Smashbox Primer Water. It is very similar to um, the the MAC Charged Water. It smells just like it. My friends had told me it's the same ingredients, but I don't know, Smashbox, it's cute, and I love it. And I've been using this before, and when I spray it, oh, almost... <laughs> Let me spray it the right way. So <laughs> this one is like a, a primer water. So it ha it leaves that kind of sticky finish like when, when it dries. So it will, um, your foundation and whatever you put onto your face, like concealer foundation, will adhere to your skin a lot better. Um, I don't like to use this um, after the makeup because it does leave that kind of um, sticky residue. But for setting, I've been loving the Makeup Forever. But this month, I have been loving the LA Girl Pro Setting High Definition Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish. Just, it, oh, this is a new one. Um, hmm. This one is the LA Girl one. It's in a small bottle. It's really cute. And it really makes my makeup last all day. And I, I use this all, all, uh, I use this at Coachella and it's an amazing, an amazing spray. And it's very inexpensive. You guys can check this out on their website. And I think Morphe might sell this. Don't count me on that, but I'm a check. And I will link everything down below if you guys are interested. Speaking of Morphe, I've been loving this Morphe um, blush palette. If you guys are if you guys are a pro makeup artist or makeup enthusiast, these blushes are pigmented. I had no idea. I think I put too much on at Coachella at one point, but who cares? No one noticed. But they're so pigmented. Can you see this? Let me get a big swatch. Like it's so pigmented. Oh, hmm. you see how pigmented this like is? This is like the hot pink. Let me do my thumb. Like that is like the bomb.com. Let me swatch it on my hand. Good thing I shaved my arms today. You see that? Like, ooh, yes. Like that's pigmented. And this is, I believe, less than $20. It's amazing. And it comes with nine blushes. So if you're a pro artist, you see the quality and it's very soft. It's not chalky at all. And it goes on super well. And I love this blush palette by Morphe. And this is the nine blush palette 
on their website. I have tried a bunch of different eyeliners. I've been getting a lot of compliments on my Fleek Wing Liner. And what I use is the Inglot. I have two of them just because I wanna show you how much I love them. And this is in the color 77. I have talked about this before. It's the only liner I use and it is super black and it's super dry and it's super awesome. So check out Inglot. I love it so much and I use it with my winged, oh wait, no, my angled brush. And if you guys wanna know how to get a fleek wing, um, check out my video um, in the info box as well. Speaking of eyes, I get so many questions about my contacts and what kind of contacts I wear and Y'all keep asking me, even though I mention it in every Instagram post, Twitter, Facebook, and also YouTube, it's the Desio eyes. These Desio contacts, they're um, from Italy. And the colors that I use, if I'm doing something more toned down, I wear the light gray ones, which came out with their 50 Shades of Gray collection. And I'm wearing the gray ones, the light gray. And they look a lot more blue on me. Are you getting this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. Um, it brings out my personality. No, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it brings out um, my beauty, I would like to say. And then um, if I'm doing a lot of lashes, a lot of smoky eyes, then I'll wear um, the Innocent White, which is super, super bright. If I wear it with minimal makeup, I look really freaking scary. So I like to, to switch between Desert Dream, which is kind of like a hazel. Um, this is the Innocent White. I mean, no, this is the light gray and then also the innocent white if I'm wearing something really, really, really dramatic. But I have been wearing these lately um, for the month of April and I love it. Almost done, I promise I'm almost done. To remove all this beauty, to reveal my natural beauty, I like to use this Carrington Farms Healthy Foods for a Healthy Cell Coconut Oil. And it's pure unrefined, I don't know. Any coconut oil will do. Um, I stole this from my roommate's place that I'm staying at, and I hope, I hope they're not mad. But this is I, I he told I blah, 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 blah. oil. I love it because um, he mentioned to me that if it'll break down everything, and I like it because it's a stiff oil. Can you see this? It's like a stiffer oil, and it holds up very well until it goes onto the face. Um, I like this um, because it also moisturizes the face and I, no I notice my skin to be a lot more moisturized after removing. I will probably have a getting unready with me video and I just scoop it out. I literally scoop it out, put it on my face and I, t I let it sit and I take a makeup wipe and then I just wipe it all off and coconut oil is the best. This is my favorite oil because it's a stiff oil and it's organic and it smells really, really good. Last but not least, I wanna talk about my Sony Alpha 6000 camera. You guys have been wondering what I've been taking my pictures with. This is like the camera for me and it has like a soft focus filter so I don't have to edit as much on Facetune or Afterlight, um, which, which those are the apps that I use for my Instagram photos. Um, but if you guys wanna see a video on how I take my Instagram photos, let me know. If you wanna see a review on this camera, let me know. It is the Sony Alpha 6000, A6000, and it's their newer version. Also, a, a quick tip, I found, I found out that on the video mode, that it also soft focuses on my skin when I'm filming. So I noticed it would recognize my features and then my skin would look blurred. So I'll probably have that demo for you guys on a different video in depth. Let me know, let me know down below if you guys wanna see an in-depth review on this camera. And that is it. My favorites of the month are you guys and the sickening studio. I literally have like 15 men like looking at me right now and it's so cute. And I hope you guys um, love this video. I hope you guys enjoy my April favorites. I will be at the Premier Hair Show Orlando. I will be at Fame Expo. I will be at BeautyCon New York. And that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this. I love you very much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.